All right, got the drill. I actually drilled through this beautiful hole. So I hope I've got it right. Little trick is you don't want to drill inwards. You want to actually put the bolt, the, the drill in reverse to keep the gel coat from cracking. So when you put it up here, you center it, and then you just go through the hole in reverse. That's one, and no cracks whatsoever. And then we'll take my air grinder with a little stone on it, and we'll chamfer the edges of this to keep the uh, gel coat from cracking all the way. Done deal. Mental note, do not use dry erase marker on gel coat. Um, I saw this tip on the internet somewhere and it does not work. The dry erase marker actually soaks into the gel coat. You still see the shadowing. We've used acetone and I've resorted to using a, a scotch Bright to get it to at least fade a little bit. So don't do that. What I'm doing now is I'm taking my air grinder and a little cone tip. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick that, stick that little cone tip down in here and I'm gonna round the edges off. So therefore, it, you don't have a jagged edge on the gel coat. So now it's kinda of like countersinking it, and what that does is it gives you a nice, nice edge, so therefore this doesn't tend to crack outward on the hull. Okay, so we got the, the one up so far, and I'm gonna tell you what we did. Uh, like I told you before, this is a learning curve, and I had to kind of figure out what I wanted to do first. It started out with half inch plywood, and it didn't work because my hull is so thick. The hull was close, to, I mean, it was three eighths of an inch thick. It was very thick to get through. So the bolts didn't reach all the way through the hull, the fitting, and those little back plates. So we ended up using some eighth inch hardwood on the back of it. Yeah, it's not as good, but what it's gonna do is it's gonna distribute the load better. Um, and we're now got one of them up and in place. Um, it wasn't terribly hard, but it's just a matter of finding exactly where you get, where your stuff's going to go. So now we move on to the other side and it's getting hot. As you can see, I've got both on now. Um, the second one went, went a lot quicker because we knew exactly where the parts were going to go. And it's 107 outside. It's really, really hot. And impressive but we got fans going and everything else so you notice it's kind of crooked well it's not tight yet you leave all this stuff slightly loose so therefore you can adjust as you go and then once we're all said and done we'll put red loctite on all this stuff as we put we'll take every bolt back out run it back in with red loctite tighten everything down and be good to go so next thing is, is we got to put that thing those in there and then we're going to put it up and try to, are gonna to attempt to screw this all in at once. We'll see how it goes. Okay, well it's about two and a half hours later and uh, we finally got this thing up to where we can put an, at least one anchor in. Um, the key is, is to make sure that you have your pylon, which is right here in the center of your boat. You wanna make sure that that's perfect. We actually took pieces of tape once we were happy with it, where it was, and my dad stood up here and just held it while I got out and looked. 
and then we put wherever we found it to be level we put, put a piece of tape across here and so when we put it back because what this does is it it pivots back and forth so you can get your right adjustment and so once we had the right adjustment I ran a piece of tape across here and then cut it so now when you have it lined up you know that you have it at your right height and it's level you know properly to the boat and then we drilled the one hole we got to do eight of these the three eights to run this through and these are what keep the the uh, uh, bar from collapsing so so far so good uh, I think we're gonna start tightening everything down drill the rest of these holes and just as I thought my bimini hits so either we leave the bimini up all the time or we deal with the quick release down here hopefully that quick release will solve our little issue we'll see as you can see it's up and the bimini fits underneath it but like i felt and i knew we were going to have to do is you have to the center portion where my finger is right there we had to take out that pivot point drop the bimini down open it bring it back up and then snap it back into place they make a complete new uh, snap for that that makes it quick release i guess they did it for this exact reason uh so you can fit it up underneath the uh, uh wake tower as you can see it gives us plenty of room and i think we've even got enough room for speakers <laughs> So do you uh, know what my next thing would be? Actually, it's gonna be speakers and also wake holders and all that kind of stuff like that. Um, it's still not 100% tight. Uh, we gotta run up, I have, and all people have almost every tool in the world except for metric um, Allen wrenches. Uh, the, this, all these Allen wrenches are metric and we've been kind of doing it loosely with an, another one, but in order to torque all this down, we're gonna go get the correct Allen wrench. Um, but you can see how um, look, nice it looks. Big old contraption on top of that boat. Love the way it looks. Now I can actually go get a wakeboard and try to learn how to do this. This is more for my kids than anything and my brother. I haven't figured out how to get up on a wakeboard yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out sooner or later. And I'd also like to try wake surfing, which I know you can't do behind a stern drive, but I've seen a lot of guys do it a little further back. And with this big old boat, it creates such a huge wake further back. It'll still work the same way. I love doing that stuff. I've used to, we used to take an old surfboard out when I was a kid and do it. So I think we're all good. Now we're going to get some Allen wrenches, put this, screw it all down, cinch it up. We'll be ready for Labor Day. Well, we took a break for dinner. And uh, then after dinner, we came back out and Loctited every single one of these little screws. We put some sealant around these and we Loctited, red Loctited, every single one of these little Allen screws. And once we're done, and now, I mean, this thing is it's very, it, it does not move. Uh, very impressed with how sturdy it is so far. Um, we'll see after a couple weeks on the water what it does, but it shakes a little bit, but it's not shaking like the Bimini does. The Bimini sits there and shakes like crazy. So I'm happy so far, but you can see it's not pure rocket science, just a lot of muscle and a lot of time to do this thing. That's all. I think it makes that boat look good. It just completes it. I don't know. Guys, tell me what you think. I couldn't have done it without my dad. I tell you, man, having him around is wonderful because he thinks just like I do. He's the same mechanical mind. Yeah, I love this. I'm really happy. Let me show you what I did on the inside. You can see where the foot goes on right here. And then we'll go down here. See if I can get this in the picture. There you go. Basically, a little quarter inch piece of wood, the aluminum backing plates, and the sucker's not going anywhere. Along with chamfering the, uh, the holes in the uh, where you went through the gel coat, and this little backing plate, it'll really, really help. Put a little bit of glue on the other side for this, just not a whole lot. You'll probably end up having to replace this. If you'd have wrapped this in fiberglass, it would have been a whole lot better. But you know what? If it rots out, I'll take those backing plates on and put another piece on. So, so far, so good. It's my first wake tower, and I'm happy with it. Looks really good. We'll have to test it out next weekend. Unfortunately, this weekend is over. It's Sunday evening, but my son's feeling a whole lot better, so we'll get him out next week. And next week is my birthday. So I expect a lot of birthday wishes. And how old? <laughs> old enough. <laughs> See y'all later.